Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo Franchise Mode Let's Play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. I wanna mention really quickly, I saw a couple comments last session actually about um, how some of y'all still uh, still feel like I'm going to say Elite Zoo North. And I just want you to know, I'm exactly the same. I actually have to consciously, every time I load in, I have to consciously remind myself, right, it's Elite Zoo South. It's Elite Zoo South. It's crazy how much of a habit built saying Elite Zoo North that even now, you know, 80 plus episodes into season two over here, um, it's still, the habit has <laughs> still stuck around. I thought it was kind of funny seeing a couple comments like that. I've seen a couple actually uh, over the last uh, you know, handful of episodes and I was just like, okay, I'm glad, <laughs> I'm really glad I'm not the only one because I thought, you know, I thought I was like the only one who, who just kind of expects that auditory signal or, or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, anyway, folks, distractions aside, I'm starting things off with a bang today. Got to start by uh, by 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 uh, getting distracted by something completely meaningless and, and 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 pointless, perhaps. But I just thought it was hilarious and worth pointing out. Anyway, that aside, uh, today's going to be interesting. We're going to be tackling, hopefully, uh, if I'm able to stick to my plan, we're going to be tackling something that has been again left hanging for a very very long time. Wouldn't be surprised if the thumbnail or the title kind of gave it away, but. There's some things that have been uh, rather stagnant for a while. You could say they've been uh, they've been stationary, perhaps, if if you really want to stretch the wordplay there. Uh, and it's about time we get those things moving. Uh, before we get into that, there are a couple of other things to touch on. Just one tiny piece of management before we dive into the time lapse. And the time lapse will include, of course, the inclusion of our new sponsor boards. I got a couple of sponsor requests, and so we will be implementing that. Before we get into that, I do want to get our latest named staff member. Just got the one request for a uh, staff name. Uh, we have a new vet among us. Uh, that actually works out quite nicely. We just got the uh, one spot available here. And our newly named vet is, and again, I apologize if I butcher this pronunciation and any pronunciations during the time lapse as well when we're doing the sponsor boards. Just feel free to correct me, of course. But we've got, uh, I assume that's Trigart. Trigart? I, I, I don't know if it's that, if that's Trigart. I assume Trigart. But again, let me, uh, let me know, of course. And I will, I will course correct. I will fix uh, my my errors, any mistakes I'm making. Uh, but yeah, so that is our only uh, sort of new addition as far as named staff members are concerned. If I missed your message somehow, please, please ping me. Uh, leave a comment you know, below this episode or uh, shoot me a private message. Again, comments for channel members and a private message on Patreon for patrons. Uh, that way, again, I can keep a track and, and, and verify and stuff. Um, I should have everyone covered. Uh, but, uh, of course, sponsors included, but let me know if I, if I did miss you, and I apologize if I did. Uh, but yeah, quite a few, uh, quite a few staff members actually named. It's always cool to see, uh, see these lists and see these lists grow, in my humble opinion, at least. Uh, but that's also actually one of the other reasons I'm here. Oh, these guys are still training, eh? Wow. Wild. Uh, a couple of you are still... This is... Oh, I see. I can't train you. I do wish that the, uh currently being trained members were listed separately as you can see some of these guys we are able to train right now um but some we are not and so now i kind of have to like check individually i wouldn't be surprised if i could like well, okay there's one way to find out these three okay let's see if i check you 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 and you okay cool yeah so i should be able to click that and it will apply to those that it applies to okay excellent you know that's that's actually not bad all right cool very cool. By the way, actually, um, uh, I should mention one more thing while we're doing this. Uh, I did actually check my recording last session with a weird kind of confusing animal market, animal uh, storage thing that went down. And, uh, and, and yes, at one point I did have the animal market selected. It even said animal market up over here while I was looking for giraffes. But, uh, for some reason it was showing me my own storage and it was showing me this UI was from my storage, but this UI was from the uh, market and, and that completely threw me off. And apparently some of y'all have that issue as well. So just another kind of UI, uh, UI bug, I suppose. Uh, and actually, since we are here. Uh, nah, I guess not. I was wondering if I wanted to pick up another female um, giraffe over here. But uh, but I think we're fine. These guys are getting kind of expensive. Oh, and actually, sorry. I know I said one management thing before we got into the time lapse, but I, I just realized something that was mentioned in the comments that I'm guaranteed to forget if I leave it until after. So please bear with me here, folks, as I do a quick check on... All right, here we go. I don't remember where the door was. Are you... 
Okay, I wasn't sure what's going on there. Uh, quick check over here. Our alpha is who? Who is our alpha? Uh, oh, you know what? Delani is actually infertile. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to have to sort this out. But he's old, but that doesn't mean we're going to just, you know, get rid of him. Is uh, Ade our new alpha then? He is. He is. Learn from his... Uh, from his pops he's got great genes as well i suppose we could bring in a new uh female then uh i don't know if that would work if we bring in a new female and we uh we release our old one because again it's only one alpha male one alpha female right uh and it, i guess it makes sense for the does it make sense for the alpha male to stay or the alpha female to stay i'm actually i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure all right look let's 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 see here great stats um 192. Oh, you know what I can do is I can do this. I assume Zobeda is the current mother. Yes. Okay. So our alpha male over here, Ade, has uh, has the better overall stats. So I suppose what we could do is we could go ahead and bring a new female uh, African painted dog in. Uh, of course, the rest of the pack would all still count as uh, inbreeding, naturally. So that's why we've got them all on contraceptives. Not that we need to, actually. Not that we need to. Um... Because only alphas mate, though I guess, again, if one of the sisters becomes alpha, then that would be a problem. So, Zubeda over here, uh, let's go ahead and find you. Go ahead and find Zubeda, not too old or anything. Uh, what is with this uh, really weird uh, glitch over here? Uh, Zubeda over to the Trade Center? Or should I release you to the wild? If I were to release you to the wild... Not a lot of conservation credits. Let's take you to the Trade Center, because these are really good stats. Uh, so let's take you to the Trade Center for now. And let's get ourselves a new female who will hopefully take the alpha position over here. Again, uh, if y'all feel that this should have been tackled differently, of course. And as always, feel free to uh, to let me know. Uh, I, I, I think this is I think this is the, the right way to go about it, though. And this is the right way to go about it. We have a very uh, high-quality male. Uh, let's get a... At, well, as close as possible, equally high quality female uh, to, uh, to to mate with them. This is not... <laughs> Jeez, these are slim pickings. I compare mates over here. Mashavu with uh, Ade. Really hits that size gene, doesn't it? Everything else is pretty good, but that size gene potential drops significantly. I don't, I don't quite like that. Not a big fan of that. Not a big fan of that. Um, Ade deserves better. Let's refresh this list over here. What we'll do is maybe we'll come back after our time lapse to take a look. This is just, I think, a little ridiculous. 5,000. I mean, these are decent stats, sure, but 5,000, I don't know. It just uh, it seems a little unreasonable to me. It seems just a little unreasonable to me. So we'll we'll give it until the time lapse. Again, we're not going to hit play until uh, after it anyway, so it's not like there's uh, any lost time or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and... Uh, and I think, yeah, get ready to dive into our time lapse after we say hello to a bunch of our VIPs over here. Collect the... Uh, conservation credits and then we can get ourselves uh going i'm not exactly sure where i'll be focusing honestly i've got a lot of plans uh we will not be doing lighting today by the way i got a lot of great feedback with regards to lighting last session in the comments so that was great um we won't be touching it today uh, we'll revisit it down the line sometime but i do want to do a beauty pass uh again on some stuff that has uh, has stayed stagnant for for a while and then we'll be adding animals and stuff for the next handful of sessions and, and whatnot and then we'll come back to lighting uh, with a clearer direction, I think, uh, uh, the next time we, we we dive in. I think uh, I think I've identified, uh, rather not I, but I think we've collectively kind of identified some of the issues, some of the pain points, and I can kind of go in there now and, and, and sort that stuff out. I do believe that's all the management stuff I wanted to do, even more than I wanted to do actually initially. But I think we're good to dive in. Um, yeah, all right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Normally I like to position the camera where, uh, you know, we can see like a before and after depending on... Uh, you know, the beginning of or or after the end of the time lapse but i don't know like i said i don't know exactly where we're going to play today uh i got a bunch of ideas i got a bunch of ideas but uh either way folks let's start executing them it's time lapse time all right folks today's time lapse goes in some interesting directions some uh some as i predicted some as i had no idea the first order of business today is going to be taking care of some of these uh uh, sponsor boards that we have to put up the uh the fun part of making these sponsor boards is always trying to like come up with new ideas and, and new ways to integrate them and new ways to implement them and then explore 
the various parts and pieces that may or may not allow for the uh, the creation of said sponsor boards in that style. Um, so I had a little bit of fun with today's, I mean, I've been thinking about some of these for, for quite some time now. Had a bit of fun with today's, uh, just kind of looking around at, at potential options and using pieces that we haven't uh, used before. Uh, here, once again, for our kangaroos, we have just the one sponsor being added today. Uh, but we are experimenting with this, uh, uh, the, 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 the symbol here for the kangaroo. Uh, again, it's supposed to be a reference to their, uh, their, their tracks that they uh, they leave behind um the feet and the, uh, the the tail i assume so i guess technically it's kind of funny it's like i guess if i have it right they're moving in the direction of the arrow like if you read it like an arrow their feet would be and their tail would be right that makes that makes sense right that adds up well, nonetheless, folks, that is the uh, symbology, the iconography we're using for our sponsor boards for the uh, the kangaroos over here. And we have, like I mentioned earlier, just the one kangaroo sponsor. And that is, and again, I apologize if I get any of these names wrong. Feel free to correct me. Uh, but that is uh, Trigart over here uh, sponsoring the kangaroos. Uh, again, this is uh, some iconography, some symbology that we used previously. We, you can, I think you'll catch me often. Uh, kind of moving the camera over to uh, to reference our older placement, um, but here trying to adapt it to a new set of uh, set of shapes, set of uh, uh, building objects. It's not always uh, things don't always translate one to one, and you can see me kind of like struggling to get the ratios and stuff right. Uh, again, using my references as a point of well reference. Pretty pleased with how that looks, and again, as we get more sponsors, we'll probably build like we can use that as a as not just a design element, but also as a uh, uh, you know, as a, not just as a sponsor board, sorry, but also as a design element. And I quite like that integration. And that integration is the same thing we're going for over here with our otters. Uh, we have one sponsor for the otters being added today. And uh, again, I think I mentioned wanting to use that uh, <laughs> that topper piece uh, when we came across it a couple of sessions ago. But Leia B over here, hope I got that right. Leia B or Leah B? Leia? I'm assuming Leia? Let me know. Please correct me. Uh, but uh, I think we talked about using that otter piece as a uh, uh, as a part of a sponsor board potentially. The moment I saw it, I was like, I think I know what I want to do. And and that that hand standing otter was exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, moving on over here, we have two sponsors for our cassowaries. Uh, we've got uh, Cassidy Breed over here uh, as our first, and our second will be Keith. And Dringa. And again, I know, I know I repeat myself, but because it is important to me. If I've, if I've got your names wrong, please, please let me know uh, how far off I was, uh, what the correct way to uh, to say your names are, and, uh, and uh, you know, any adjustments I need to make. And that goes across the board for any names I've ever said ever. Uh, I do try to, uh, it, it, it is, it's, uh, it is, it is important to me um, to, to know whether I've come close or, or, you know, or not. Uh, but anyway, mo moving on from the sponsor boards now, uh, we are going to actually work on some of these stations. It has been some time that we've talked about decorating and beautifying these uh, these train stations. And a long, long, long time ago now, I, honestly, I, I, I can't even remember when it was. But we started working on the uh, uh, on this, uh, th this station over here, uh, primarily to try and prevent guests from looking at the Jaguar enclosure from over here, but it didn't work out. Uh, but I figured, you know, why don't we start over here with our train station beautification, or rather, I should say, with our with our station beautification. Um, I do like how that rhymes. Uh, the uh, the the fact of the matter is, this one felt closest to complete to begin with. I have some ideas for some other uh, of our other of our stations as well. In fact, the monorail station that is just outside where the uh, lion enclosure is. I've had some plans for that for a while. I've done a lot of research and I've actually, well, I, I touch on this after the time lapse as well, but I've got some plans for, for that in particular. Uh, and I'm kind of tempted to do that next session. I, I, I throw this question out there later as well, but I just want to know your opinions on if next session should be adding a new animal, in which case we'd be adding a new African animal and I have one in mind. Uh, or do we go in and, uh, and, and work on that station? Cause we don't actually get to it today because again, as much as this felt like the most complete, ergo the most, uh, Sort of easy to finish off at the end of the day it's a bit of an undertaking to, to to build this entire kind of space over here with that said though i'm really quite happy with how it's coming together i'm using all these like vine pieces and stuff like that i was initially going to make these little planter boxes uh next to our um education boards over here 
Uh, but then as I was kind of looking around, I came across these little like uh, these vines and I was like, yeah, that looks a lot more interesting, a lot more intriguing. Uh, also checking the lighting over here, trying to get better at checking lighting as we go and build. Uh, this was supposed to be our approach from the beginning with Elite 2 South was like keeping a track of lighting as we uh, as we progressed. But, uh, you know, I fell out of that habit pretty quickly. So I'm trying to bring it back so that we don't have to do massive lighting passes in the future. Uh, just, you know, smaller ones. That way we're a bit more efficient, I suppose. I think the main reason why I didn't do it as we built along was it was a long duration uh, where the uh, the light... Oh, sorry, where uh, using that little uh, blueprint hack to change the time of day would crash the game. Almost consistently, it would crash the game. I think some of you would remember that, especially at Elitsu North. It started happening close to the end of our first season. Uh, and I think that was a big reason why I stopped uh, stopped doing it. But that problem seems to have been taken care of. That problem seems to have been fixed. So now during time lapses, I should be able to flip between day and night and uh, uh, and, and getting the uh, getting the uh, work done, getting the lighting done at the same time as some of the other construction. Now I'm not gonna um, focus too hard on that because it can take away, it can slow everything down because I get distracted by lighting. Uh, but it is something to consider for construction projects, especially like these decorative elements. Uh, where uh, where I have some ideas already with regards to how lighting might work, and you know, in the case of this particular case, uh, space, we've already made some progress on that front. So it's just a matter of modifying our, uh, or potentially modifying, actually double checking our work. Now over here again, getting, <laughs> I need to stop working with curves. Honestly, I I love them, but the way curves work with construction pieces that are square is just it can be unpleasant at times. Uh, so dealing with some of that unpleasantness, and it might have been wise for me to just delete the tree that we're working under. Because again, it's hitbox keeps getting in the way. It's also just like blocking my view. Very, very frustrating to, to, to deal with. But ultimately, it does work out. What I'm doing over here is I have like this uh, canopy kind of thing happening at the uh, opening of either end of this walkway. And then covering this central area with uh, with a uh, sort of like a, uh, like a, I don't even know what to, to phrase it. But a, a narrow kind of beam, not a beam, you know what I mean though, right? Uh, I was gonna do the the the, the dome kind of angled thing across the whole thing, but I figured a it doesn't look that great, but also b it's just like ah you know let's have like I guess it's really hot. You don't really want to make a bunch of enclosed spaces all the time. A little bit of a breeze and stuff like that is nice as well. So you know maybe if we're lucky, this actually acts as a bit of a wind tunnel as well. Uh, you've got your shade too from when it rains and whatnot. So there are places you can kind of tuck away and and hide. Uh, the vending machines are, you know, beneath a, uh, a canopy and, and right as you step off the uh, train as well, you'll be underneath the canopy. Um, but, you know, it's not just outside of the train station that I want to deal with. I also want to deal with the train stations themselves. So I will be working on that as well shortly after I do a little bit of... You can see over here, I was like, okay, well, there, is there some other way we can close this area off? And then I was like, you know what, I kind of like how it looks. You like, like, look out into the green, there's a cool breeze coming through. It's a nice kind of chill vibe. So I quite like it. Uh, but as I was alluding to just moments ago, yeah, we're going to be decorating the train station itself as well. Uh, not too wild or anything right now, uh, but that's I think that's largely because this train station had already got so much work done, right? There was only kind of like a shell left to build, and obviously we're, we're still going to get uh, pretty funky with uh, with how that shell uh, is is kind of laid out and what it looks like. Uh, but some of the work we do right now is uh, is relatively relatively baseline stuff. Um, just getting this, uh, you know, the, the entrance and exit for the trains done, getting the roof done over here as well, uh, and also just kind of contemplating, well, how do we make, uh, how do we make it, uh, how do we make it interesting on, like, the, uh, the, the, the entrance side on the, the south, not the south, not the actual south, but, like, our down screen right now, the left here. There we go, the left. Uh, <laughs> that was, I was like, how do I communicate this? Um, so there, there's a little bit of planning you'll see on, on that front as well. Uh, while I while I seal off the again the entrances at the exits and you'll see that the gap at the top there the ceiling gap in my head is just like well you don't want the uh, the smoke and stuff you know whether it's real or faux you don't want it getting stuck in a in an enclosed space so let's have a little bit of a gap there for air ventilation um, but uh, but beyond that as well you'll see I actually go to a different section of our Africa uh, you know areas to pull some inspiration from there uh, and I lay down some of these pieces over here to kind of like connect different parts of our Africa section. It doesn't end up working as well as I thought, and so we actually end up getting rid of all of this, and we'll be coming back to revisit this later. Again, it's a bit of a surprise how long some of these things end up taking when you're experimenting and testing and, and trying stuff out. Um, had fun doing it. You know, it's always, again, you have to, uh, you, you gotta fall so you can get up again, right? So, 
Uh, overall, I'm pretty pleased with this time lapse. So we got a lot done. It's just this final step over here definitely needs some work. Uh, so we actually get rid of it and we'll, uh, we'll revisit this at a later time. Folks, I hope you enjoyed. That is it for this time lapse. And with that said, back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. And I got to say that went in a, well, completely different direction than I initially anticipated. You can see the camera was facing in this direction because I was expecting to work somewhere up over here. And, uh, and we did, I mean, for the sponsor boards, especially, yeah, we did, but, uh, but the, uh, well, everything I was building up to ended up being over here just off screen, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I want to start working on some of these train stations and, uh, we got a fair bit done over here, uh, today between the uh, little walkway outside over here. I'm pretty pleased with how this is looking and, and, and just building like a shell for this thing. A fair bit of progress over here. Some experimentation that didn't really go the way I wanted it to so we had to axe that uh, but this uh, this phase of beautification has begun and I think it'll be quite nice when uh, when it's all kind of said and done and when it's all put together this area will look quite nice um, it, it's nice to see it kind of blocking in already and seeing how the shapes and forms come together and how it might uh, might actually look yeah when it's all covered up uh, and then of course we're going to try and take that same level of complexity to some of our other stations both the train stations and the uh, monorail stations as well in fact i have some really grand plans for this one i've been uh i, I like you why are there so many oh come on man are you serious right now <laughs> like you look away for a little bit and people start throwing trash absolutely everywhere god damn come on man for real Put all these little Trash cans down over here. Let's go ahead and put uh, put one down over here because you know it's too far away. Just absolutely, just absolutely gets me. It just gets my blood boiling. Anyway, uh, litter aside, the uh, I actually have some grand plans for this area. I've I've had, I've done a couple of like um, iterations in my head. I, I've got a bunch of like I've I've researched a lot of like shapes and forms and ideas that work for the Africa section. Uh, in fact, some of the ideas I had for here. Uh, inspired some of the work we've done here. It's kind of, it's, this has been a wild uh, thing for me, even though it's been left barren for so very long. Uh, there have been a, uh, a multitude of ideas that have uh, kind of come to mind with regards to how I want to execute this, how I want this to look. I just haven't had the opportunity to dive into that. In fact, that was part of my plan today uh, before I was like, you know what, it might be better to maybe cap this off uh, and then we'll go ahead and, and work on a new one. So next session, I'm thinking we add an animal. I'm thinking we uh, return to Africa. Uh, get a new African animal in and, uh, and, and you know, obviously we want to fix their enclosure and stuff. And then after that, we come back with a beauty pass and in that beauty pass, probably a uh, work on this area. And that way, I think finally we would have had our, uh, our, 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 all of our projects from this central area completed. We've got the waterfalls. We've got, uh, the walkway, the central element over here with the memorial. <laughs> It's always funny to me look at, looking at this spot over here because I remember the first time we came close to bankruptcy. Or I guess the first time... Did we go bankrupt that time? We, we spent too much building one of, uh, one of these kinds of structures. One of these kinds of structures uh, up over here because I was so... Um, I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to execute and stuff. Man, some serious nostalgia vibes right now. Uh, but it's funny looking over here. Yeah, I think if we, uh, if we do this, though, we will kind of have this entire section... Uh, done. I mean, obviously, yeah, there's a little bit of lighting work and stuff to do for sure. But, uh, you know, even that aside, nothing's ever really completed. Let's be honest with ourselves. That would be pretty, uh, be pretty cool. Uh, what, what if we, hmm, I'll throw it out there. What do you guys think? Should we do the, 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 the new animal next session or should we try and cap this area off next session? I think I'd be cool either way. I have an idea of which animal I would like to put in. Again, it's going to be an African animal. Uh, I have an idea of, uh, of uh of how i'd go about their space but i'm kind of feeling like i don't know i i throw it out to you guys again as i as i often tend to help me make the decision based on what you would be most interested in uh in seeing uh with that done i think we can actually hit play now and just see how things proceed oh right i do want to of course take a look at our uh african painted dog as it were 190 over here look at that see that's what i'm talking about all it takes is patience these are pretty good stats Pemba. Let's take Pemba over here. Go ahead and move you over to the quarantine here. And uh, we'll get her get her sent over as soon as uh, quarantine's done. Good stuff. All right. Go ahead and unpause. It's kind of funny. The, uh, the, the state of the game as far as uh, management stuff is concerned now. A large part of it has become... Uh, 
unless we get a notification or unless we kind of like make work for ourselves uh we're we're pretty well covered as far as management is concerned i mean things are, are going pretty smoothly i mean from time to time we'll have some you know animals fighting for alpha status or the uh, population uh ratios are incorrect or something like that uh but we we're, we're pretty quick to to take care of all that stuff so things are things are looking pretty good actually things are looking pretty good I literally, I, wow, I literally just got distracted by dogs. <laughs> I was just like, ah, oh, dogs. <laughs> In, uh, I'm very much, uh... Buddy, come on, let's go. Aw, oh, yes. Uh, I'd like to say I'm not like this in, in, like, real life. Whatever that means. Um, but I totally am. If I'm walking down the street and there's, like, an adorable dog, uh, you know, across the way, I, I will 100% start paying full attention to that dog. Whoa. Crazy. Magical, levitating, African painted dog over here. Um, but yeah, I just, it's, it's, uh, the, probably the easiest way to distract me is with, uh, adorable, uh, adorable animals. Uh, primarily dogs and, uh, and, and rabbits, but, you know, chinchillas and hamsters and, uh, yep. Dogs, though. Honestly. Especially if it's a corgi. Or, yeah, that's a lie. Any dog. Any, 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 any high energy dog or a dog, man, like dogs. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get our lovely giraffe over here. Now, I think that was mentioned that uh, I'd put our giraffe into our enclosure without, um, without taking her to quarantine first or taking him to quarantine first. Uh, I don't, don't recall that. And that was maybe confirmation bias in, uh, in that I hadn't done that, and I had, in fact, got him into quarantine first. Uh, we also have Pemba over here, ready to move into our enclosure here. Pop you in here. And uh, should immediately become alpha. We'll keep an eye out for it, not only because I want to make sure it's uh, it works out, but also because I want to uh, watch some dogs. Can't complain about that. More vet research is being completed as well. We'll be looking at some fun facts today. I imagine the giant otter research is almost completed. Uh, and then, yeah, we can go over some of that uh, uh, information and some of those fun facts and see what there is to uh, to, to learn. Um, oh, by the way, uh, seeing these guys reminds me. I'm glad to finally have these guys covered up as well. I'm sure I talked about it during the time lapse, but uh, that, sometimes that stuff zips by so quickly. Uh, but yeah, pretty pleased with how uh, this space kind of looks. We still have the problem, I think, where guests are trying to look through here to look at the Jaguars. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know is, is what I'm saying there. Uh, what I could do here, by the way, I was thinking was like, I could further block this stuff off so it kind of squares this area up. Uh, actually, you know what, that, that does look better than I'd initially thought it would. Uh, just because the shapes, uh, I think, work a little bit better this way. No, that's not what I meant. Okay, Pemba has arrived. Let's go ahead and just get these guys placed first here real quick. Yeah, you can see them looking at the animals from, from up over here. Uh, but yeah, I was initially going to put down some plants, some like... Uh, like flowers and stuff over here, make this a bit of a, a planter kind of a thing. I uh, thought that would work quite nicely, but uh, the vines, I think, do uh, quite a nice job as well. Um, and I'm hoping to get more uh, coverings done for these education boards down the line as well. I just, uh, they're, not, uh, they're not ugly. I, in fact, I quite like their shape and the, the metal and the wood and all that stuff. I quite like how they look, uh, but that, um, that, that pattern, that, that texture they get is, uh, is not that great. Go ahead and say... Farewell to this Jaguar who has served us so very well. It's been uh, a long time. A long time. Uh, a little unfortunate to see you go, buddy, but uh, circle of life and all that. We will, uh, I think we'll need a new uh, Jaguar in here. Man. Not really equipped for these extremely complicated uh, elements. Alright. Still a couple moments left in here. There we go. Nice to say goodbye. We don't often get the chance to. That's too bad. That is too bad. Call the vet over. And uh, what I need to do is I need to check. So we've lost the uh, the dad over here. What is the situation with regards to mom? She's also elderly. So once uh, Chipawa passes away over here, I think we'll go ahead and get from our... Uh, let's see, from our storage, if I'm not mistaken. Who do we have? Jaguar, we have... These babies still did not get brought back in here? Come on, man, what the... Why? 
we have a male, right? But that male cannot mate with Chipawa because they are... Oh, you can. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, in that case, Gautamak, let's get you in here. I thought they were related, but I guess not. Gautamak, buddy, where are you? Gautamak. Uh, I cannot rename him here. I guess not. Move you. Bring you in here. Oh, I totally read that as Tupac, and I got extremely excited. <laughs> Wrong part of the world for uh, to like derive that name from, unless unless I guess Tupac must mean something in uh, in one of the various South American uh, languages, um, or you know, when I say South American, I mean both those that are quote unquote indigenous and and not. Um, but, uh, but that was that was funny. Um, okay, sorry. Uh, again, just a little minor, minor, minor distraction there. So what's up with these babies? What, why are these guys still stuck in here? I could have sworn I moved them all over. Gotta make sure they become adults here. I also need to make sure they're all on contraceptives and stuff. Well, um, I guess it's gonna be a, this is, the jaguar area is gonna be a bit of a situation when all these babies come to, uh, like come of age. Come on, over here just it takes so long for each of these to like load it's Lee Montezuma Get you in here now and then one more after you that uh, storage center is starting to get real uh, trade center rather is starting to get real full and I have to have that uh, trade session sooner rather than later all right hopefully they're all coming over here go ahead and take a look at our zoo take a look at our oh I guess vet research is complete that's the southern cassowary one more step there as well uh, but I was looking for, ooh, I was looking for animals, jaguars specifically. I want to make sure they are on contraceptives. So, uh, you are the new dad. Kids, kids, kids. These are all little children. Now, what's going to happen is when uh, Chipawa passes away, whoever among these uh, daughters. I suppose has the best genetics will become our uh, our new mom. You're pretty good. You're all right. Uh, can't see your stats yet because you're not delivered yet. You're still in the trade center. We got options though. That's uh. We, oh wow, we got some. We got some good options. So that's promising. That's promising. This line shall continue for some time yet. Beautiful. Uh, now, what's the deal with our uh, African painted dogs? Have they got their alpha situation sorted here? Uh, if I go here, I want to make sure that uh, Tilani is infertile. That's unfortunate, of course. We already knew this. Emba, are you? You're not the alpha. Who is our alpha? Alpha female here. What I'm looking for. It doesn't say here, does it? Baby, is it you? It is you're the alpha? Okay, not bad, not bad. Ah, right, fair enough. I mean, we'll have to get a new male. I don't, I don't mind waiting. It's a, it's a full pack. Age is all right. Dad's elderly. As long as he's not. Um, as long as we're not getting any uh, inbreeding going on, I think I think we're okay. I, I, I always have a hard time sending uh, sending animals off, as y'all very well know by now. Uh, I could rehome some of these guys. I guess that's the option I could go with. Why are they all swimming? I is it? It's 42 degrees Celsius. So I mean, don't blame them, but it is nice to see them swimming. I don't think I saw them swim quite as much as uh, little pups, right? I don't think so, at least. Uh, okay, so I mean, hmm, torn here. I'm torn. Because the option is there, I suspect, because he is elderly and infertile. The option is there to... Where are you? You? Uh, to rehome, right? We could rehome, get a new male in, and... Uh, that would help. We're not in a rush here for new... Uh, new babies. We're not in a rush. And you know what? Great males aren't even available right now, so uh, we'll leave it for later. Cool. <laughs> Any excuse to not send our dogs off? What's the deal over here? How are these hyenas doing? 
Y'all having a good time? Y'all okay? This enclosure has really, I think it's worked out quite well. It's great to see the guests all coming up over here and, uh, and actually engaging with this space, like looking down through this gap. Like it's worked out, I would say, quite well. I'm very pleased with that. Very pleased with that. Uh, are these animals pleased though? How are you feeling? Curled up in your little balls. Taking a little midday nap. You guys are all happy. That's the thing, with the lower difficulty, there's no like impetus to, to go through and like change enrichment items and things like that. Like there's no uh, pressure from the animals per se. Guests are all happy as well. Might need to uh Might need to figure something out about that. <laughs> Where there's like I mean we haven't had that many issues this session either. Uh one thing I can I guess force myself upon or force upon myself is this whole riverboat nonsense. Are we still seeing problems here? There has been a suggestion, there have been quite a few suggestions, in fact, with regards to how we might go ahead and uh, and, and solve the uh, circumstances here. Maybe one of them included adding a third boat, which is not a bad idea at all. It does apply some movement pressure as well. Um, so that's definitely something to think about. What's the deal over here? Are you full? Uh, looks like things are working, though. So why, uh, why, why fix what isn't broken? Or why fix what seems to not be broken, I guess is how I should phrase that. Let's go ahead and see that boat come through and see how... Um, uh, how it works, if it works, and if it does work, then we'll know that our solution has worked, at least for now. At least for now. I quite like this uh, elevator and stuff. I gotta do something about this whole thing. This obviously looks wrong. We need some path supports and things like that. Maybe I should just see what in-game path supports look like. Uh, rather than build custom ones. Again, trying to stay cognizant of those you know, part counts and whatnot. Alright, alright. Good stuff. Now, actually, um, something I've been uh, thinking about for a while now, for a handful of months now, and it's been brought up a little bit in the comments as well. Uh, so I thought I would uh, put the question out there and just get a feel for. Oh, that's so weird. How like is there not enough room for the next party? Is what all is is all I can imagine. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get some feelers out there for uh, for the uh, probably near future, actually. Uh, with regards to um, stuff on the channel, uh, there is a game that is coming out. I'm not. I'm not sure exactly when, but sometime this year, uh, that I think many of y'all would be interested in, uh, called Prehistoric Kingdoms. Kingdoms. Kingdom. Prehistoric Kingdom. I think it's singular. Yeah. Uh, Prehistoric Kingdom is uh, is, is planned for uh, sometime this year, I believe, into early access, and I feel like it's probably uh, getting closer and closer. And I was just curious to know how many of y'all are interested in that game. Um, it has some similarities, of course, to Planet Zoo and Planet Coaster, if you've played that previously. Uh, it's like if, uh, funnily enough, it's like if Jurassic World Evolution had uh, stuck to the planet formula with regards to its construction capabilities and things like that. Uh, obviously, it's not the exact same game as, as Jurassic World Evolution, but that's like the first thing that comes to mind when I think about uh, uh, Prehistoric Kingdom. Um, it's a game that I'm uh, definitely you know curious about. I'm definitely interested in because I like that style of like building and whatnot. Uh, it's a it's a real creative outlet, and and I I do like dinosaurs as well, uh, and not just dinosaurs, but like that game is about more than just dinosaurs. It's got you know just um, prehistoric animals in general. So whether it's like saber toothed tigers or mammoths or what have you. Uh, a lot of variety, and it's, it's stuff that I really quite uh, quite like, and I'd, I'd like to explore that game. Um, so I'm curious how many of y'all are interested in that game, how many of you would be interested in seeing coverage of that game. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll put a pinned uh, comment down below with a poll, and I can have your uh, have your uh, sort of opinion known in that in that way. Um, one of the reasons that I uh, I ask is because again, of course, I'm interested, in, and I might uh, uh, I, I, like I, I got to figure it out. As is always the case, got it, got it. Why, why are you, what is, what is going on here? <laughs> just managed to clip through, got stuck over here, and, and now is just like running around and nobody cares because you're not technically escaped. That's hilarious. You're, uh, you're adorable, you know that? Look at that, look how cute he is. Oh my god. Having a good time? Well, actually not having a good time. Let's go ahead and move you. In here, let's go. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, the, the reason why I ask is uh, because obviously I'm curious. I, I feel like there's a fair bit of overlap, but I also feel like that's a uh, potential uh, incorrect assumption I'm making. So I'd love to hear 
uh, how people feel. And the other reason I'm asking that question is because it would be impossible for me to cover both Planet Zoo and Prehistoric Kingdom uh, on the channel at the same time with the same level of intensity. The amount of time that uh, it takes to make an episode of uh, of Planet Zoo is uh, is tremendous. It is definitely um, it'll be impossible is the word I'm going to stick with. It'll be impossible for me to do both uh, at the same time um, with the same kind of uh, quality and intensity and uh, and at the same level. Uh, so all that to say, this uh, again, I'm not. Before you, before I'm misinterpreted here, I'm not saying, yeah, you know, hey, um, I might stop doing Planet Zoo. I'm not saying that, uh, but I'm trying to get a, a feel for, uh, for you know, if I can, if if I should be thinking about adjusting my schedule, if I do like a mini series for Prehistoric Kingdom because it is early access, um, so you know, uh, like in terms of like uh, support and DLC and that kind of stuff, like it's, it's, who, who knows what the plan is. Whereas Planet Zoo is, you know, a full fledged, fully released game. It's going to get uh, more support more recent more uh quickly i assume um you know more dlc and whatnot down the line so uh, obviously going to be uh, a lot to cover with regards to that but uh but yeah i'm like just throwing the thought out there to understand again what some people what what, what y'all might think in terms of uh uh oh yeah let's uh you know let's see a little bit of this a little bit of that let's see uh only this i don't care about prehistoric kingdom or uh yeah prehistoric kingdom sounds cool planet zoo is getting kind of old i want to move on like i'm just curious uh and again, I welcome all opinions as always. So uh, if you have uh, if you have any thoughts, if you have any uh, uh, further details to your thoughts, then uh, then feel free to share those as well. It's a tough thing to think about. It's a tough thing to think about, but it has been on my mind for a while. Because again, and again, there's there's no there's no budging on how impossible it would be to to do both. Um, that's kind of like that goes without uh, uh, without. Uh, well, I would say it goes without saying, but I had to say it, <laughs> so I don't think it does go without saying. I'd be a little too intense. I'd be, uh, it'd be impossible. Um, which is where the, uh, the, the, the crux of the question is, right? So I gotta, I gotta figure that out and I'd love to hear your input so I can obviously figure it out based on, uh, your opinions. And again, the main reason I bring it up now isn't because it's particularly imminent, uh, but because it is, uh, it's something that got brought up a little bit, um, uh, in the comments of the last episode and before that as well, it started to, it's being brought up more and more lately. And so uh, I figured now would be a good time to address it. I'd rather address it now than, uh, you know, when it's when it's uh, time to make a decision. I'd like to know what that decision should be uh, before it's time to make it. You know what I mean? Um, and again, ultimately, at the end of the day, I'm gonna when I've, I'm gonna be the one that has to make the call. Uh, but also, again, at the end of the day, I always look to your opinions uh, to get an understanding of, uh, of what folks are thinking. Um, Okay, well, good. I, I realized for the longest time we haven't actually put down any, uh, any temperature, uh, control. Pop one of these coolers down over here. That should be significantly better. Yeah, looks like we're good. No, uh, no freezing areas. Is there no power over here? There is power over here, so let's go ahead and get you up over here. Cool that space down a little bit. Again, guests will be a little bit happier. Doing all right overall. Yeah, looking good. Up over here, we can maybe put some down. Gotta be careful, of course, not to upset the uh, animals either. Come on. No. Come on. There we go. Up you down over here. That should be good. Decent coverage area. Let's pop one down over here. Perhaps place one over here. That should do the trick. I feel like these ones are zero degrees. Yep, again, when you duplicate them, the second one that you copy over is uh, not included. Like, doesn't bring the stats or the, the, the properties with it. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What if we put another one down over here, perhaps? Now, let's not miss out on this. Pair about to die of old age. Again, our, our warthogs need some... Uh, some... Uh, Are you kidding me? What are the chances? That was adorable. <laughs> that was adorable. I was just about to say our, our warthogs need some uh, some attention as well, organizing their uh, breeding patterns and 
really reducing how many uh, <laughs> warthogs we're getting at any given time because we're, get we're getting a, a few too many. Just a few too many here and there. All right, come on now. A pair of solid genes over here. Released to the wild right at the end. No, I think she's already considered um, gone for all technical matters. The game just doesn't want to animate the, the final moments, I suppose. Come on, buddy. Don't want to miss it. There is still much to do. Gotta get ourselves a new Titan Beetle as well. We have some, actually. With really poor fertility. Some with alright fertility. Alright, we'll figure this out. There we go. That's gotta be the last... The last cry of a... No? I gotta take care of these guys as well. Oh, that was a... Lag taking over there. Okay, I, I don't have... Come on, come on. <laughs> This is the weird thing about the game, is it's like, give me a notification when it's actually relevant. Um, not Zupedia. Gotta go over here, because these guys are gonna get upset because they are now overcrowded. Wanna make sure they're not upset, of course. Audrey and Liam. The Trade Center with you. And let's go ahead and take a look at Era again. Still standing? Still standing, okay, cool. Uh, over to our, whoops, Titan Beetles. Probably, there we go. Zoo has gotten massive, absolutely massive. Titan Beetles, empty. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I know we were, uh, one down, but I guess we were actually two down. Let's see. Pablo. Martin is better. Martin and Graciela, perhaps. Or Philippe. Old rank. And uh, Blanca. Cassandra, these two. Send to Zoo. Pop you in here. Not Zoopedia, but over here, Japera is still standing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You do you. You do you. Uh, what do we got going on over here? Oh, animal. What? Oh, I guess the animation just never triggered. Fair enough. Not much we could have done about that. Research complete over here. I assume it is the uh, both the Southern Cassowary and the Giant Otter. All right. Fair enough. We could... Uh, let's take a look at the fun facts of the Giant Otter today, and we'll save the Southern Cassowary uh, for maybe next time. We'll see what kind of time we make over here. But uh, I do... I will almost, almost certainly need a reminder of that. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and dive in with the giant otter. Curious about these fun facts over here. All right. Fun fact number one. Giant otters are intelligent and can be trained. All right. Fair enough. I would say that's a fun enough fact. I would like some more details. I'm, like, here providing uh, critique and feedback about fun facts over here. But, uh... Okay. <laughs> It'd be nice to know, like, what kind of training. You know, like, animals... A lot of animals can be trained, but... Animals have different, like, levels of retention or, uh, or there's a lot of details about how you can or how you can or cannot train an animal right like um, do they do they follow the same training like uh, logic as uh, say dogs or or rabbits or rats rats are a little different right like I would like a bit more detail about this what can you train them to do can you train them to like open and close doors, or is it more just like, yeah, roll over, sit down, dive, <laughs> I don't know. Fun fact number two, the giant otter is the longest member of the weasel family. Uh, that's a funny way to put it, longest member of the weasel family. All right, cool, cool, cool. Fun fact number three, the indigenous Amazonian Tupi word for the giant otter is Ariranya, which translates as water jaguar. So that is where, and again, from, uh, if you, if you watched the, um, the, uh, aquatic DLC uh, sort of mini series that we did, you'll know that that's where that uh, that name suggestion kind of came from uh, when we when we decided to name the uh, the otter enclosure. Uh, where is our? There we go. So again, we went with uh, Lantra Lagoon over here. 
uh, the the other option was uh, was a was a homebrew option was one that I'd uh, I'd thrown together because uh, I couldn't help myself uh, making this joke when I saw that uh, that the Tupi word for uh, the giant otter is Ariranya and so you know Ari Ari Ariranya Grande I could, couldn't help myself um, but yeah that's where for those of you that were wondering that's where uh, that's where that came from it feels like what what is this that's where that came from all right we got some fighting going on over here. Let's go ahead and uh, I believe their limits actually are, hang on a second, one and one, right? Um, oh no, it's uh, up to nine males, up to nine females, and yet they're fighting? Due to overcrowding? What? Due to overcrowding, yeah, okay, weird. Let's go ahead and move you guys into the uh, trade center for now. They should be fine, unless I misread that. Unless I misread this. 2 to 15, up to 9 males, up to 9 females. Let me know what I'm getting wrong over here. Onwards with our fun facts. Uh, fun fact number 4, giant otters have 9 different vocalizations that they can use to communicate with their group members. Okay. I feel like, I feel like more depth could be offered with some of these fun facts. Uh, yeah. Fun fact number five. Giant otter groups spend large amounts of time grooming each other to build group cohesion. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, grooming, I assume it means much like, uh, well, a lot of, a lot of animals, uh, groom actually as a way to, uh, to, to, like, grow bonds and also establish hierarchies. Um, so that's, uh, yeah, that's, I guess I shouldn't be too, too surprised, but, uh, that's interesting. Uh, we're fine, we're fine. You know what, that took, like, no time. These, I'm um, not very, hmm, those are, I don't know how I feel about those fun facts. Like, if we take a look at, uh, let's see, if we take a look at, um, I don't know, I feel like we've had, I feel like we've had, uh, some more interesting kind of, like, fun facts over here. I'm a little, uh, I don't know. For for an animal that uh, that dives deep into water, these felt kind of uh, kind of shallow. Maybe it's because I did read them before when I was doing that uh, that that series on the on the side, like that little mini series. But um, yeah, fun fact one, kind of yeah, not really. Okay, sure. Give me some more more details there. Fun fact two is yeah, fun. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. I can get I can get behind that. Fun fact three, I really like actually quite a bit. Uh, that taps into the stuff that I'm personally interested in, so that's great. Um, four again, just like okay. Mm -hmm. Is that, I don't really know about how, where that stands with regards to significance. I don't know. All right, well, let's see if the, uh, the, the cassowary... I was going to leave it until later, but that took, like, three minutes. Uh, I think that literally took, like, three minutes. Wow. Uh, um, so let's go ahead and check out the southern cassowary as well. All right, fun fact number one. The eggs of the southern cassowary are pea green when first laid and fade in color over time. So, yeah, that's a fun fact. Uh, I assume the... Uh, the pea green color is, uh, and that's actually interesting. What, what, why does it fade away? Is I imagine it's not like it gets, you know, uh, f faded away because of uh, because of like sun fading, you know, like fun sun damage. Um, but I, I assume the pea green coloring is to uh, hide it, uh, to keep it safe from from potential predators and whatnot. They are tropical birds, uh, so they will be living in forested areas. So the green will definitely keep it uh, uh, hidden. Uh, it's also possible that fade in color doesn't necessarily mean it fades all the way to white, right? It could go from pea green to like a, a like a, a different shade of green. Now the curiosity is why? What like that's a that's interesting. Okay, that's like is there uh is it because of the sun? I doubt it. That would that seems that seems not worth mentioning. You know what I mean? Um is it because of uh how the egg ages? Is it supposed to happen? Is it an intentional like that's a, that's a curious one. That's an interesting one. I'm that actually makes me want to like look some stuff up, so that's uh I like that. I like that a lot. Uh the, the oh I always get this word wrong. Talons, 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 talon. Talons, talons. The first time I read this word was in an anamorphs book. And uh I've never quite known how to say it. Of the southern cassowary can be up to 4.8 inches long and are very sharp. Okay, fair enough. Southern cassowaries can be aggressive and have been known to kill humans. Yes, I have been, uh, I've been, I've been told this, and that's a terrifying thing to think about. Uh, I was talking about actually previously how they are uh, quite aggressive and they will aggressively defend their young and things like that. Uh, evidently, yes, they are. They can get, uh, they can get pretty, pretty violent. 
Fun fact number four, cassowaries are important to their local environment as they're effective seed dispersers. They eat over 200 species of plants and disperse the seeds as they are digested. Disperse the seeds is one way to put it, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting to know as well. Eat over 200 species of plants. Now, I wonder how far they actually, uh, move. Like, how much do they, do they migrate, per se, you know? Because, um, obviously they don't fly from one destination to another. Uh, but how far do they help, uh, propagate these seeds? Obviously, distance isn't the most important thing. Um, uh, well, I say that, but a lot of, uh, a lot of vegetation tries to spread as far as possible. You don't want too many of your, um, you know, seed, literally, I guess, here, growing in the same area, fighting for the same nutrients and fighting for the same uh, soil and the same water, uh, because that's how you, uh, that's how you reduce your, uh, that's how you miss out. That's how one of your, uh... Oh my god! What the, what the, what? That was horrifying, man. What the... Oh, dude, <laughs> that ain't right. Just taking a chill walk over here. Drops dead and then falls, like... Well, what would you say this is, like... 10 feet or something? Maybe? Can you imagine walking by here when that happens? Holy crap. I don't know how I feel about that. Don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> um, alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Pop back into Zoopedia over here for some more fun facts. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. Um, and this is one of the ways that plants try to like, yeah, propagate and spread uh, far and wide so that they're not, um, they're not uh, stuck to one area fighting over the same soil and whatnot. Fun fact number five, the southern cassowary features in the mythology of many rainforest tribes with stories stating that cassowaries are reincarnations of humans and that humans were created from the feathers of a female cassowary. Now that is interesting. Feathers of a female cassowary. Now I have heard, uh, uh, I've read rather, not heard, but in my reading I found it was the bones of a cassowary. So I wonder, there's some digging to do over there. All right, interesting. Now the, the funny thing is, um, Cassowary bone tools are apparently pretty common in Papua New Guinea as well. Uh, among the, uh, the, 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 the tribes, at least, I'm not sure about elsewhere. Uh, but I can totally imagine, uh, you know, being able to acquire um, pretty fancy, like, cassowary bone tools. Uh, I, I, I totally can see that there being, like, a market for that and whatnot. Uh, so the cassowary is pretty integrated into, uh, uh, into society and, and, and has been... Uh, for these tribes as well, not just, you know, in terms of, uh, I almost said origin stories. Oh, there's a phrase for it. Uh, origin myth? No. Uh, oh my god, I'm not gonna, it's just completely slipping my mind right now. Creation myths, there we go. In terms of creation myths. Um, <laughs> now I've forgotten the rest of the sentence. Uh, but yeah, I, I've seen, yeah, the cassowaries are important, not just in terms of creation myths, but also in terms of, uh, sort of, like, aspirations and whatnot. I was kind of touching on how, like, oh yeah, the cassowary is a symbol of, like, um, you know, like, the, uh, like, male aggression and stuff as well, uh, and warrior culture and whatnot. Uh, I think I touched on as well during our time lapse a couple sessions ago how the cassowary is seen as, uh, only being female in these mythologies. There is no... Uh, there, 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 there is no, like, male cassowary, as it were. Uh, obviously, you know, biology, uh, doesn't quite, uh, uh, work that way for the cassowary. But, uh, you know, it's not like, um, this isn't, this isn't Jurassic Park, right? Uh, but, uh, well, uh, I mean, it's, 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 it's great to see, like, that be included as a fun fact. See, that's the kind of fun fact that I, uh, I want to see. That's the kind of fun fact I want to see. Like, I feel like the cassowaries definitely had, uh, more... You annoyed at me for looking at you? So cool. Look at the eyes, man. Look at how they blink and everything. Just the level of detail. What a beautiful animal. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, my... my... <laughs> such a source of joy these guys are so cute <laughs> um but yeah those i would say those southern cassowary fun facts were uh, were a lot more uh fun and a lot more facty uh if you will um than the uh, the otter ones that's uh that's unfortunate the otters i would say had like you know maybe one two decent ones yeah i'm 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 i'm, I'm judging fun facts it's not because i'm being trying to be negative on them or anything it's because 
uh, again, if I if you if you like something, you give feedback to hope it improves, right? Uh, it's in it's in it's in that vein. I would like to see. Um, I don't know. Some of these seemed a little, eh, you know, eh, eh. Still, I'm glad they exist. It's a nice uh, it's a nice thing to include in uh, in the game for sure. Uh, things have gone pretty smoothly today. Oh, look at these! Look, it's hilarious to watch. Everyone's just. Just, just dozing right off. Everyone's just chilling. <laughs> this is hilarious. Lined up over here, passed out. The judgmental stare. Look at that. Daggers. Look at those eyes. Look at that. Like, it, look at that. Like, it's like that eye roll expression. Just like a, I've, I'm like, I've had enough of this. I'm done with you. I've had enough of you. Like judging who? Her? Y'all don't get along? Or are you judging him? <laughs> there's a there's a murder being plotted over here. Uh, I like this. <laughs> okay, uh, enough uh, enough of that. I think, uh, folks, this is what we're gonna be calling it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, make sure you uh, check the uh, pinned comment down below. There will be a. Uh, uh, a, a poll. I would love to hear your opinions on uh, on this whole prehistoric kingdom thing. Uh, I would love to hear if you are not interested in watching uh, prehistoric kingdom at all. Uh, if the only reason you're here is Planet Zoo, or if you are, uh, you know, if you're, if you're looking forward to it, or if you'd rather I flip over, or whatever. You know, just let me know. Obviously, polls are limited in that you can only um, you can only uh, you know make a selection. But I would love to hear your thoughts as well, so feel free to leave it in the comments if you feel like there are some details you would like to share, uh, you know, or, or, or what have you. Um, I just can't get over this imagery over here. It's uh, pretty swell. Anyway, folks, I hope you had a swell time. This is what we're calling it. Got a fair bit done. Pretty pleased with the session. I hope you all are as well. Again, if you are, leave a like, leave a comment. Y'all know what to do. As always, as well, of course, a... Massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.